the way that this training works is that it offers a standardized solution to education in the nature of mind. And you might well ask, well, how does that work? Surely we're all so different. How could there possibly be a standardized solution? Well, the fundamental experience of, of each of us is actually very, very similar. And so we can say that there is this openness, there's this intelligence by which you know anything. So it's the intelligence that's hearing these words, the intelligence that's looking through your eyes right now. This wide open intelligence that includes all of your thoughts and emotions and sensations, all of your experiences, anything you can label and describe. All of this data, effortlessly included within your mind stream. So this same basic mechanism applies for each of us. Now this is the reason why we can offer a standardized solution because the fundamental experience of life for each of us is exactly the same. There is open intelligence shining forth all of its dynamic energy, all of this data. Now we each have our unique data set so nobody has the same thoughts, emotions and experiences that you have. So in Balanced View there is the standardized educational program so the text that we all share the written um, trainings that are based on the texts, there's the media on the website, there's the practice of short moments repeated many times until it becomes continuous and everybody can do that if they're so inclined. But then we also have a trainer, a personal trainer who is someone who is there to customise the training for you and your particular life circumstance. So what we have here is a standardized solution with the customization that is particular for you and where you're at. So the standardized solution works because we all share this basic mechanism of life. Open intelligence, shining forth data, inseparable like the breeze is inseparable from the air. We can't separate out data from open intelligence. The only way that we can experience open intelligence is, is through its data. And the only way that we know data is through open intelligence. Absolutely inseparable. We can't have one without the other. Now the way that we've been taught to use our minds is to describe the data as if they could be separated out from open intelligence. As if they could be found to have an independent nature. And when we do this, then life gets very complicated, very confusing, and it becomes difficult to know how to act in the world. So, for example, with something um, like sexuality, what I saw for myself there was that I had lots of thoughts and emotions, this incredible display of dynamic energy, and I'd learned to label them in different ways. And some of these thoughts and emotions I'd learned to label as being sexual in nature. And then as I lived my life and, and grown up and watched films and spoken to people and had relationships, then I'd learned all of these ideas and concepts about you know, what these sensations meant. You know, what was their meaning? What was their definition? And um, it's just, this for me was a perfect example of how confusing and complicated this made life. Um, both when I was in a relationship and when I wasn't in a relationship. Because I had all of these ideas about myself and my sexuality. And I used these to define myself and to define and work out how I should relate to other people. And um, this was very complicated and confusing because when I met someone for the first time, or even when I saw someone, there would be this whole rush of thoughts and emotions and descriptions going on, and I'd have to work out, you know, am I attracted to them? And so I had all these, these guidelines that I'd learned along the way to help me with this. So, okay, right, so I'm a man, so okay, that rules out all of the men. Um, because I'm heterosexual, that's what I've decided I am. Um, and now it's a, it's a woman, so is this someone that I feel attracted to, you know, you know are, they, um, are they my type, you know, do they look interesting, do they look exciting, do they look fun, maybe they look too attractive or maybe too exciting, that's not what I want either. 
and then I'd have to try and keep this analysis going as I perhaps you know um, got the courage up to speak to them at some point you know I could arrange a sort of just to bump into them you know and oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah here too and, and so I had this completely contrived way of being and then uh, and then I'd be speaking to them and there'd be this whole um, analysis going on of you know and what's going on now? How do I feel about them now? How do they feel about me? You know, how, am I standing in the right way? Maybe I look a bit too effeminate or a bit too <laughs> masculine or just this con continually adjusting everything in this sort of really tentative dance, if you like. And, um, and it was just so complicated. And, and this was even more complicated when I was already in a relationship. Because all of the same stuff would come up, but be like, but I'm in a relationship, I can't have this stuff now. You know, I've, I've, I've got my partner, oh my God, look at that person over there, they're just gorgeous, aren't they? And, oh no, then I can't contrive bumping into them because then I'll be, you know, sort of letting my partner down and I won't be being, you know, it's, it's just so complicated. Using all of these ideas and definitions to try and work out how to act and how to be in the world. And through just the simple recognition that all of these descriptions, everything that I sense and feel and is going on in these, these interactions and these moments, is this dynamic display of incredible benefit. There's so much energy going on the whole time, so much of a... It, everything becomes exciting. Everything becomes exciting. Um, so for me, the benchmark has been in this training, um, shopping. That's been my benchmark for the um, efficacy and power and necessity of this training, you could say. How shopping can become an erotic experience. So previous to this training, I hated shopping. I, I hated it. I would just, I'd end up eating really poor food because the idea of just going to the shops and the grocers and the supermarket was just so tedious. I hate it. I wanted to be on the top of the mountain. I wanted to be trekking through the Himalayas. I wanted to be having incredible, exciting experiences because these were the descriptions that seemed to have more meaning. These seemed to be the positive ones. And just going to the shops, it was just tedious. It was so mundane. This was not what my life was about. I was not born to shop. <laughs> and, um, and through this training, all of this data too can be allowed to be exactly as it is. And this is the difference now, is I love shopping. I love it. It's incredible. I go to the shops and it's just full of all this incredible stuff. And I have these lovely interactions with the staff and... It's lovely to watch the reactions of people working in shops when you're just a normal human being there. You know, hello, how are you? How's your day? Not in any strange, weirded out, contrived way, but just being a completely normal human being, spontaneous and open-hearted. And people are so surprised by that. But often they're also very, very touched by that. You know, hello, how are you? And people look at you like, well, what? You know, what, what's going on? But actually, they're so relieved to have somebody that actually sees them as a human being. Not just as some idiot working behind the checkout counter who, who they're just angry at because they're not checking out the, the baked beans quick enough. And so this is how powerful this training is. Everything becomes exciting. Everything becomes exciting. Going to the shops just becomes also part of this magnificent display of complete benefit, complete joy. No longer looking for satisfaction in just certain descriptions or certain experiences, having to have these peak experiences that seem to make everything worthwhile. But 99% of the time having these mundane experiences that seemed really disappointing. So the evenness and equalness of all data shining forth is actually the key to living an incredibly exciting life. And also this dynamic potency that we all possess, the power to be of great benefit, is discovered when we allow all of our data just to be exactly as it is, just to flow on by. The fundamental nature of each moment is always exactly the same. There's open intelligence recognizing its dynamic data, its dynamic display. 
The data appears spontaneously and resolves naturally. This is always the case. You can check this out for yourself through the practice of short moments. This is how you get to realign yourself with what is actually going on here. Not what you've been told, not what you've been reading about or talking about, but the direct instinctive recognition of the fundamental nature of reality. Now, the training in this is necessary because we can have this instinctive recognition and it's very, very powerful. You know, that recognition of the inseparability of everything. But unless there is some way that we can stabilize that recognition in our everyday life, then we begin to label these experiences too. We put them in these special boxes that are these experiences that are somehow separate or apart from everything else. And we've trained our mind in one particular way, through our conventional education and through our conventional experience of life. We've limited this beneficial potency, this ability to respond spontaneously to whatever is of most benefit in each moment. This is the power that each of us possesses. And this is what you get used to in these short moments, of allowing the data to flow on by and tapping into this beneficial potency. Now, I had no idea that I had this capacity. And I had been taught and had taught myself and trained myself that I was a limited human being that had a very limited capacity to really contribute anything in life. And I believed those definitions and they limited me. Now, through having the correct context on all of those descriptions and all of those ideas and belief systems about who I am and what I'm capable of, recognizing those two as data shining forth from open intelligence, then I see that they have never had the capacity to limit me. That my mind is always wide open and clear. No datum, no description has ever limited or changed that wide open clarity. Like the flight path of the bird in the sky does not affect the complete openness and clarity of the sky itself. This is the same nature that all of your thoughts and emotions have. And when you allow them to flow on by, that completely clear, wide open nature just becomes more and more obvious. But we've trained ourselves to focus in and narrow down our perspective by emphasizing these data as if they could affect us, as if they did have this independent nature and power. So what I've seen is, um, when I came to this training, um, there were many things I heard that um, just struck me like lightning bolts. It was like hearing the most powerful words I've ever, ever heard for the first time. And yet, whilst hearing them, they, it was incredibly familiar. So I'd hear this description of, of reality, of my experience, and it was like, well, of course, you know, that's, that, that's so obvious. And um, then I began to hear about short moments, and okay, yeah, right, I think I can do that. And I got a load of talks from the website or from our, our, our media table here. And so I went away and for the first year I listened to talk after talk after talk and I took short moments. And the result of this was incredible. There were so many things that I saw the benefits in this simple approach to. I felt so much more ease around things that had troubled me for my whole life. There was a spaciousness and ease in so many different situations. So I could see how powerful this approach was. It was obvious in my own life. I didn't have any, any question about that. But there were certain things that when they came up still seemed to completely overwhelm me. Certain descriptions I had about myself, like with sexuality, because I'd been emphasizing these descriptions for so long, they still seemed to have this grip over me and control my behavior and make me feel uncomfortable. And so I saw that after a year of seeing incredible results, but still some data streams seeming to have this power, I wanted to get more support for this. I wanted to blow open all of my data into this beneficial potency. And that's when I decided to get involved in the trainings. That's when I did the 12 empowerments. And it's just been incredible. Every training I do makes this, this obviousness brighter and brighter. Every text that I read just confirms this natural perfection as who I really am. 
Every short moment I take realigns me with this perfect reality, this ability to see everything clearly, to know exactly what to do and what to say in each circumstance. Every time I write to my trainer about something really personal, then that gives me a kind of support that I've never experienced anywhere before, because there's a safety in that relationship of sharing about things that I'm not yet comfortable sharing with other people, with groups of people. And the trainer just supports me again and again in seeing that I have the capacity also here to take responsibility for this data, to give up my right to be a victim there too, to empower this relationship with this complete harmony. So it's up to you to decide how much and in what way you want to utilise the support that's offered here. But my experience has been the more I utilise the support, the more confidence, the more assurance in open intelligence and this power of great benefit that is obvious to me in a completely everyday lived way. Not as some idea or something in the future, but as the, the basis of this very moment. And that's what I found in this training. But it's up to you to test it out, to go at the pace that you feel comfortable with. There's, there was never anyone pushing me, there was never any coercion. It was just this wide open offering. Here you go. You know, here's, here's the education in the nature of mind. You choose how far you want to take this. If you just want to sort of dabble a little bit, you'll definitely see some benefits. But if you want to really live a life of complete benefit, then the Four Mainstays lifestyle will enable you to do that, if that's what you're really interested in. So it's completely up to you. And the actions just then flow with complete, seamless, effortless power, without you needing to emphasise or focus in on any description. Everything recognised as part of this seamless flow of complete benefit. <coughs> and that means you and everything about you also included within this seamless flow of complete benefit. That might seem very far away from your life at the moment, and that's exactly how it was for me when I came to this training. But more and more that is just so obvious. It's always been like that. I just had to recognise it.